is Thursday, October 18th. No, October 19th. It's like 8.40 in the morning and I just got to work. I am in a really good mood today and this whole week, compared to last week and the last vlog I posted, I feel like I've done a complete 180. But the first clips that I wanted to insert in this vlog were from last weekend when I went camping in Yosemite. I was with my boyfriend Sam and my friends Lucy and Christy and we did the most beautiful hike called Clouds Rest and it was my first time there. And we got to see Half Dome. We camped in this campground like 45 minutes outside Yosemite called Sweetwater Campground. And I just wanted to share that because all of the last vlog I posted, I was like prepping for that camping trip and it was just such a good time. And I'm like really excited to go back because it's a national park I have gotten to explore not once before. So anyway, that was that first part. I said it's Thursday, so it's already been like four days since I got back from that, but I woke up had a really good workout today. I did like core and lower body and some arms as well. I made my smoothie and it's gonna be a really hot sunny day today. SF or like the Bay Area is having like another heat wave of sorts. And tonight after work, Sam and I are going on a little date night. So I'm really excited for that. I am in Novato today. I'm at the clinic with the big windows. This is where I run like CPET tests cardiopulmonary exercise tests and yeah nothing else crazy to report I think I might try to go for a walk at some point today um, and then this weekend I'm going to Monterey and Carmel with my old roommate from Boston Allison she also lives in San Francisco and she lives literally a block away from me but we have not gotten a chance to like hang out much so I'm really excited because she invited me her family has like a house in Monterey or Carmel. Hopefully I can vlog that as well. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Okay, just got off work. I never vlog when I'm like at work, but I did a short like 10, 20 minute bike ride at the end of the day because I was all done with patience and just needed to wait a little longer to clock out. But now I'm getting gas and I'm gonna head home, maybe take a body shower. <laughs> and Sam and I are gonna go on a date night. And I think we're gonna go to Bernal Heights, which is this like lookout in San Francisco um, to see the sunset, which would be really beautiful. And then I'm also hoping we can find dinner in the mission because the mission in San Francisco has some of the best food. Like there's good like Burmese food and Vietnamese food. So also good Mexican food, of course. But yeah, that's where I'm going, headed home. And um, I'm so happy tomorrow's Friday. <laughs> morning today I just sipped my coffee and folded laundry I didn't work out but I'm in my workout clothes I still have my bike in the back of my car from last week and I think I'm gonna get to work early enough where I might be able to go for like a 30 minute bike ride before the first patient shows up I have to check the schedule so we'll see if that happens but last night date night was really fun <laughs> I think it's funny expectation versus reality I had kind of planned us going to Bernal Heights to watch the sunset and maybe even like having some wine. And I forgot the bottle of wine. And then the sun had kind of already set by the time we got there. So we walked up and like, we're looking out over the city skyline and it was so beautiful and I'm really glad we went. But the way back down, I like didn't know which path to take and there's a bunch of different paths. 
and we ended up on one that was more of like a mountain biking trail which was really narrow and steep and sketchy and <laughs> it was just kind of hilarious how quickly it turned from like oh this is romantic and so fun to oh shit <laughs> we're stuck in the dark and we ended up getting down fine but anyway just one of those moments we ended up going to this restaurant called the blind butcher and we both ended up getting like burgers or I got sliders and Sam got a full burger and it was really good we knew kind of looking at the restaurant that uh it was gonna be like more bougie and expensive I guess but it was super worth it like we were both just really freaking hungry by the time we got there so Anyway, highly recommend The Blind Butcher. It's a restaurant in the Castro neighborhood. Um, there was a whole event going on there last night. So like the main strip of the Castro was blocked off. But anyway, great night. And um, now I'm off to work. I'm running Stress Echoes today. So that should be fun. Um, whenever I run these type of tests, it's always like a more stressful day at work. But when I had looked at the schedule, yesterday it looked like there were only five patients which normally there's seven so that's kind of like a lighter day so fingers crossed that it's not as stressful as it normally is but I got my smoothie I also made some biscuits this morning I already ate mine from Trader Joe's just the type that you like throw in the oven and yeah it was really good hope you're having a great day whenever you're watching this I'm so happy it's Friday I'm just like yay the week is over and after work today, um, my friend Allison and I are gonna leave for Monterey and Carmel. I think it's like a two, two and a half hour drive from San Francisco. It's south of us, like close to Big Sur. So I still need to pack for that, but yeah, that is what the day holds. <laughs> I think it's like 3 p.m. now or no it's 2 and I did end up going on my bike ride it was lovely such a good way to start the day um, and I now actually have a break between patients so I'm gonna make a run to Costco because <laughs> the clinic I work at is really close to Costco and the one in San Francisco is just always really hectic to get to I'm going for protein powder protein bars just all the things in bulk <laughs> that we buy once a month I'm like okay now is the time so um, anyway it's been such a good Friday and all things are going according to plan I was a little nervous about how tight of a window I'd have between like work and leaving for Monterey and it looks like it's all gonna be fine because every patient has been on schedule today <laughs> so I don't anticipate I'll have to leave work late which is awesome being at Costco on any day, because it's always popping here, is kind of like adult Disneyland, but everybody wants to kill each other. Saturday, October 21st. Allison and I made it to Carmel and I slept the best I've slept in the longest time in this house. I had my own room to sleep in and there was a skylight and I woke up at like 6.30 and Allison was feeding the cats and then I fell back asleep and woke up at 9.30. I wake up every day at five. Like that is very abnormal for me. But anyway, it's morning, we made it. The house gets so much beautiful morning light. I'll show you my room where I stayed. Um, yeah, just like every room has a bunch of windows and skylights. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous house. Um, but I think we're gonna go into town. Um, we're right now in Carmel by the sea, which I didn't realize there's like a couple different Carmels, like Carmel Highlands. Um, so anyway, we're gonna go get coffee and root around. I put on my makeup. I forgot a brush for my hair at home. But um, yeah, we're gonna go root around and I think we might also go to a winery today.
Allison and I made it to the winery and we had a really great morning. We like walked all around downtown Carmel and we got really good breakfast and coffee, went back to the house and like changed and then did a whole walking tour of like the beach. We saw a bunch of different cute shops and like a bookstore and now we're sipping wine and we both just got pizza kind of for like an early dinner. I think it's like 4 or 4.30 right now. So yeah, it's just like really pretty here and we're having a great time. I'm so glad we came. I'm kind of new to wine and so I got the Cab Sauv. I think Allison got a Riesling. Yeah. It is 6 p.m., only 6 p.m., and Allison and I just got back home. The winery was so beautiful. I'll insert the name of it in the clip, so if you happen to come visit Carmel, you can go. would highly recommend. They book out really far in advance, so I would recommend a reservation, but it was just like a beautiful garden space. We were talking about how it'd be an amazing place to have a wedding if you could afford such a thing. It was just like gorgeous. Um, but now <laughs> we're back home. Allison's taking a shower. I think I am going to look at jobs because that is something I'm trying to do in the next five months is find a new job. And on the TV, I do this in the mornings too at like 5 a.m. I always put on like walking videos of people walking through cities when it's like raining and I'm obsessed. This one is a video on Boston and I lit a candle so... We're just gonna have a little cozy Saturday night in. <laughs> this is just very classic Allison and I. Her and I are both grandmas at heart and girls weekend means going to bed early and sleeping for like eight plus hours. I think I mentioned this morning, I slept until 9.30, which does not happen for me, but it felt so good. I'm like seriously considering getting the same comforter that Allison's parents have at this house because I just slept so freaking well. So anyway, I think tomorrow morning, Sunday, we're gonna wake up, get coffee and go for like a nature walk on the beach or something, and then probably head out. Um, I don't think we have too many other things we wanna do here, but um, got the cats with us. That's Maisie. And in the litter box is Margot. Those are two cats. I actually never lived with Maisie, but when I, went to graduate school in Boston. I lived with Margot and Allison. That's how I know her. She's my graduate school roommate. So anyway, it's a nice evening in and I'm fucking so happy right now. He wanted to go to a spa because they had power or because he was so taxed from the I power think both. being out. He was just he like- to treat himself. Cause the second one would be a little shocking. Like it's one thing if you're like, I just want it. like 5 p.m. I'm looking through photo albums of my family, which is why I'm crying. <laughs> um, I'm sending a very belated birthday card to my dad and I was just picking out pictures. Isn't that cute? Anyway, um, this is one of me and my mom, which I love. We're in front of Mount Rainier. Isn't that cool? Uh, anyway. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. <laughs> Funny that I'm ending it in tears exactly how I ended the last vlog. Um, <laughs> but it was a really great weekend in Carmel with my friend Allison. And I hope you enjoyed watching. I will catch you in my next one.